This is the uh, Sony KV4000 4-inch Trinitron Color TV from uh, 1980. Matter of fact, this was made in December of 1980. These were a uh, luxury item back then. Probably still are now. They had a beautiful brushed stainless steel case. And uh, there's a uh, little push button on the side here to uh, release the, the cabinet to tip it up in the air like that. And you can face it up there for to angle it for better viewing. And it also allows you to get to the, all the controls that are under here. Your basic brightness, tint, color, contrast, and so forth. Volume controls on the side. You have a manual tuning thing on here. I'm not sure that this is going to work. Because what we have to do on this... Oh, there we go. Alright, here we go. The Achilles heel of these machines was always the uh, the push buttons here. These here they use tactile switches which collapse and they can be replaced. I use uh, replacement switches from VCRs and uh, they work fine. But what beautiful color they have. Gorgeous picture. That's typical Sony back when Sony made great stuff. I can't say much about Sony today. They kinda lost their edge. I think they lost it Right around uh, 1992-93 is when I noticed the uh, this the uh, quality start to slip with Sony, but this was made back when they uh, really made some good stuff, and this one's in great shape. I don't have the AC, the AC adapter for it. It's the only bad thing. I have the original battery pack for it, which it's running off of right now, and I have the original carrying case. I am going to sell this one. I'm not sure what I want for it yet. I'll take offers on it. In the 90s, these things were going four to five hundred dollars, and I realized they're not going to get that anymore. But it does have an AV input, so you can use it as a monitor, and it's to be a nice little collectible for somebody. So there it is, the Sony KV4000.